all right everybody welcome back to your 22nd Google Chrome extension development tutorial and I've made this tutorial to summarize and cover up whatever we have done so far in this Twitter uh, rich Twitter notifier extension so let's start from the very basic we did so first of all to create this extension what we did is we gathered some information some necessary information required to make this extension for example we need the user to be logged in to site manually every time for this plugin to work then um, we need the um, we need to launch an Ajax request to uh, the notifications of Twitter we need to grab the data we need to filter out all the data uh, and just get the headers and required stuff and then finally what we need to do is we need to display a rich notification if there's any update uh, or notification in the account so to start with we created a function engine which we are calling on the regular basis of 20 seconds every 20 seconds this function would fire up again and this is located in background page so that uh, it does not require any user interactivity and it would just run itself again and again and we have specified the page as background.html and background.html has got these two files ready for us and the jQuery one to work with jQuery here so here what we are doing is first of all we are grabbing the all the HTML with a get request in the JAX and get would simply um, ask for the HTML contents and we are grabbing the data as <coughs> the asynchronous request and we are getting the HTML data in data then we are creating a new variable with uh, dollar sign that doesn't actually uh, mean any jQuery stuff but dollar you can actually name variables in JavaScript with dollar sign as well starting with dollar sign as well so data is HTML data dot find stream items ID and the stream items ID let me open my Twitter account so that would make much more sense and <coughs> if you look here then the stream items ID right here uh, in the view source or let's in, uh, open this in the inspect element itself so here we have our DOM tree and this stream items ID is nothing but a ordered list of all of your Twitter notifications which are loaded by default on this URL so we are getting stream items ID dot EQE zero means that get only the first ins instance of this run because Twitter is using uh, this same ID two times so we have to use EQ zero for that otherwise jQuery would return the object of this uh, as two elements uh, two objects sorry and then we are doing data dot find activity truncated tweet dot remove and here what we are doing is simply we are just removing unnecessary data we have in the data variable then we are appending data to the body and actually we don't need it now on the production plugin so now we are initiating a loop for i equals zero i is less than data dot find the tweets length dot li dot stream if you see here then each li has got stream item as class and we are using stream item here so we are actually just looping over to the number of tweets available and then we are assigning each of them an ID and we are grabbing each of them a message of that particular thing so then we are having latest ID as a variable declared on the top and it might look like that this latest ID would always be undefined obviously because we are not defining it anywhere here so on the first run we are comparing if latest ID is equal to ID 0 which is the first element of the ID we have assigned to the first tweet 
and obviously this would not uh, this would return this condition is false on the first run so it would on the first run it would automatically go to else if else if latest id is undefined and yes that's true then we are just creating a first run and we are doing type basic title twitter notifier and you could actually create a similar one like the context message and the buttons i'll just copy and paste here and twitter notifier we have got open notification that's it and we can also copy this on button clicked so on button clicked notifications instead of uh, here we can create um, let me see alright so on this notifier whenever this is clicked this notifications would be opened and then we have got chrome notifications create first run which would just send the instructions to chrome to create this notification box then we are assigning latest id with the id 0 which we grabbed here so else if latest id is not equal to id 0 now this is something different from undefined that means that latest id is already uh, defined but it's not equal to id 0 so in this case what we inf uh, conclude from this is that there is some new activity on users account so for that we already have our old id's uh, latest id and with that we can loop over again and again unless we encounter this id so we are kinda in this loop finding finding all the new notifications happened for the user in 20,000 milli seconds and 20,000 milliseconds because this is our set interval loop so now we are saying if latest ID is encountered then break out of the code else if message J is not equal to empty then append this to it and we are just using this if conditional because in some of the notifications like this one we don't have any header for example in this we have got mayhul fear your tweets as the header but in this one we don't have any header so in most of the cases you would get a header but some would have um, no header attached to them so there is no point in sending a blank notification to the user so again we are applying the latest id id 0 so that we ke uh, keep our extension updated now in new tweets we are uh, appending all the new tweets which happen over and over again with the user now we are down here saying if new tweets dot length is equal to zero that means there was no activity then do nothing else if it has got some new tweets then launch a loop create some variable uh, create a button show the message which is inside the new tweets title icon self explanatory code then create your tweet then console log uh, this is just the debugging purpose and we can still remove it alright so let's reload our extension for one final time and let's see how it works so I have reloaded this and on the first one we get this right here so you may like to check your Twitter account for latest notifications alright let's check this out and yeah it opens our link here and eventually I forgot my dummy account password so I won't be able to show you in working but if you go back to my last tutorial I'm showing a lot of examples of this working extension so I hope you understood how this extension is finally working the core of the file is this background.js file and nothing else here all of this is just um, what do you say is just a skeleton type but this is the magical thing happening so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.